everyone and welcome back to the happy heart I am so glad that you guys came over today to see this kitchen clean with me because as you can tell my kitchen really needed it I almost didn't want to show you guys how gross this was but we all got busy and this was just something that needed to get done and it had to get back to normal I really just needed to get my dishwasher loaded start some laundry wipe everything off and I had full intentions of um, cleaning my whole house on this day and I got pulled in so many different directions that that didn't happen. On this particular day I was talking to my husband on this phone as you can see and I almost edited out the fact that like I got really upset at him and kind of threw my phone down a little bit. But then I thought that it would be a perfect opportunity to show you about real life conflict and not really hide behind the veil of social media that kind of shows us that life is perfect and nothing goes wrong in anyone's life, you know. So the reason I was upset on this particular day was just about some poor decision making in my husband's company. And I was more annoyed than anything else. I wasn't genuinely upset. But something happened and there was nothing that I could do about it. There was nothing that I could do to control it. There are you... I wanted to share with you guys this real life conflict to encourage anybody who needs it, myself included, that not everything in life will always go your way and you can't control hardly anything in this world, which is a really hard pill for me to swallow. Just let me say that. But as I kind of reflected on this uh, the rest of the day and today, I realized that what really matters most is what we do after things like this happen. It's what you do after the situation. It's how you handle the world. And how you handle the world is a really personal choice for you. You can choose to live in bitterness and heartache, or you can choose to handle your conflict and try to make it better. And I just encourage you all not to fold, to keep fighting and to push forward and to make your life the best that it can be. And we're all going to run into walls like I did today when I got super frustrated. But it's when we find the doors in those, in those particular walls that kind of mold us and change us into the people that we're supposed to become. So I hope that whoever needed this, that that helped. And I will try to be quiet so you can enjoy the rest of the cleaning motivation. I kind of started thinking about what was going on and what was happening and like how it was affecting me and um, trying to kind of process everything but you can tell I'm like cleaning the stove and oh my gosh making so many suds I use too much soap I have no idea why I cleaned 
all the controls and <laughs> I was just like oh my gosh I gotta wipe all this off and it was just kind of like I was in my own head and I um, kind of looked down and I was like oh wow the stone is really clean okay <laughs> so um, I think this happens to everyone you just kind of are trying to process stuff and get through it and you end up a lot of times with a ton of suds right in front of you but I think the more important thing is that you know take the time to like process things take the time to think about them um, don't react right away when things uh, happen and really take the time to decide how you're gonna react to the world around you so I guess that would be my biggest advice and I wanted to kind of let you guys in on why there was so much soap on the oven I usually use these Norax cloths that I got from my neighbor. I love to support the community, local, anything like that, and I figured they were probably just as good, if not better, than e-cloths, and I was looking into those. And I really do love these Norax cloths. I love that you can clean with just water. And I wanted to preface that with saying on this particular day, though, I needed something. I just needed to change my mood, get me a little bit more happier. And so this summer scent of Honeysuckle is so good by Mrs. Myers. And I said, you know what? I am going to clean my counters with this just because I really needed this scent. I just needed it to smell fresh and clean. And I figured that would help my mood and help me feel more accomplished about what was getting done. And honestly guys, I can really tell you that it helped a hundred percent. I walked in the kitchen um, a little while after I had got done shooting this video and I was just like, oh wow, it really is nice and clean. So sometimes I know the fad of the e-cloth and the Norweth cloths are great and I know they work really well and I know they're super convenient because they just use water to clean. Sometimes I just need that little extra oomph of scent, and on this particular day, um, this all-purpose Mrs. Myers really helped. I hate sweeping I am not good at it and I wanted to come on really quick and tell you guys that this little vacuum is the best it's actually a handheld vacuum that turns into a upright vacuum by Thistle and this little thing is powerful let me tell you it's crazy um, it when I do it in the bathroom it actually makes my shower curtain like blow around and it just picks up so so well if you're a person that doesn't like to sweep and 
cannot afford or don't want to put in the investment of like a cordless Dyson, this is a really good alternative. It is corded and everything like that, but for $20, like I will deal with a cord. And this works wonderful. I have not used a broom in months because this works so great. So I just wanted to jump on and tell you guys um, about this. And I mean, I got it from Walmart and it is amazing. much for coming over and watching this brand new kitchen cleaning video as you can tell my kitchen really needed it and I was so happy after it was done as I kept walking through there I just felt so refreshed and happy that that particular room was done a little part of me was sad because I got pulled in all these different directions right after shooting this video and I could not clean the rest of my house but I chose to look at it in the fact that I got to clean my kitchen and my kitchen got clean and not the fact that I didn't get to do what I really wanted to do. I really wanted to focus on the positive and be happy with what I could get done that day as opposed to what I could not get done that day. And I think that's just a huge lesson for all of us and I try to look at that every day. I try not to um, begrudge the time that I wasn't given. I try to be happy with what I was given and what I could accomplish on that day. And I think that in doing that, it really helps us have a more positive outlook on the world. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and I will see y'all in my next brand new video. Bye for now.